Hi everyone, I'm here with a quick tutorial on Microsoft Whiteboard. For those who don't know what Microsoft Whiteboard is all about, it's a digital canvas where you can collaborate with your friends, family, and coworkers who have a Microsoft account, Windows product, or leverage Office 365. So right now you can download a Microsoft Whiteboard by going to the Windows Store online, as you can see on my screen here, or launching the Windows app market on your desktop and downloading here as well. You can access Microsoft Whiteboard on your browser, but it works best if you download it to your desktop. So already having it downloaded, I'm going to launch it right here for you all. As it loads, it should take you to um, the very first page right here, which is a panel of all the previous whiteboards you worked on. Right now, we're just gonna look at this one here, the pink, and click the plus sign to create a new whiteboard. Right now, you see a lot of white. That is all the white real estate that you're working with to start your collaboration. So some of the basics here, you're able to scroll in by just zooming in and um, with your mouse and scrolling out to zoom out um, with your mouse as well. You can drag everything around and you can see that there's so much space that you can leverage. Right here at the very bottom, it's a little bit small, but this is uh, the main menu you'll see. You'll see that there is a inking mode, a text mode, some add notes, image menu, insert menu, undo and redo buttons. So I'll be walking through this right here. The inking mode will take you to pens and highlighters and options where you're able to actually write things. So I'm gonna write hello world because why not? And you'll see that as you click the pen, you'll see options where you can change the pen weights, the different types of colors, there's way more. There's this fun gold and rainbow. You're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Um, right here, if you click out, you can click um, out of the pen by clicking the check mark. And you can move around the text box. What's really cool is they have this intelligent ink beautification button. If you click that, it'll actually change your handwriting and make it a little bit pretty so it's more readable. So for those who are worrying about their messy handwriting, you can make it here and so it's more readable. As I go back to the ink mode, you can see that there's a eraser button. So now you can erase the text that you don't need anymore. Let's say all this is stuff you don't need. You can go here and just clear an entire canvas. There's a ruler. There's ways where you can draw straight lines. Let me click out of that and erase the canvas. Let's say I want to move around things. And as I add photos as well, I want to cut this. You can move it very easily like that too. So a lot of fun things happening here. As you click done, there are some basics of just adding some text. So hello, this is cool. Again, clicking out, moving it around. Let's delete that. You can add some fun little sticky notes really quickly. There's tons of ways where you can add images from your library, from Bing, from your camera. Um, my favorite part here is this is where the goods are. I'm going to kind of breeze over this quickly. You can add a PDF file, Word documents, PowerPoint documents. And going into this part, this is the most fun here. There's a whole bunch of templates, which I never knew you could leverage with Microsoft Whiteboard, but you can, ranging from brainstorming, Kanban, retrospective, effective meeting, SWOT, project planning, project milestones, problem solving, KWL, weekly pl planner, Empathy Map and Persona Builder. Um, oops, looks like I clicked one of them and it seems like I clicked the Weekly Planner. So this is an example of a template that you can look at the instructions. And as I zoom in, and you can see that this is what you can do to plan your days and it looks like a week. Um, everything's customizable, things can be moved around, you can add things here. It's a great way to start using this tool for yourself but also pulling this up in a team meeting. Deleting this, I'm gonna go back to adding a template. What I found worked really great recently, especially with all the working from home um, and you know, to the effects of the coronavirus, I found that this brainstorming template has been awesome to collaborate with remotely and start thinking about how do we use these tools to generate new ideas. And so right here, they already kind of set out some of the brainstorming rules and how you can structure your facilitation of that remote meeting. 
this box here is great because folks can quickly add their sticky notes as if they were doing this in real life in a whiteboard in person and typing their ideas, but also using the ink pen by drawing some of their um, brainstorming ideas. So these are headphones. Um, you can't really tell what that is, but it, it is that. You can like certain sticky notes too. So as you're doing group voting, you can do that as well. One thing that's great is you can move sticky notes around after the ones gets the most votes and you can create categories by snapping sticky notes together very easily. Um, as I'm seeing, it's kind of overlapping, but you can zoom out and play around with that too. So right here is such a great tool that you can start leveraging with your coworkers um, and with your family and friends if that's what you are working together. Um, like I said, there's so many templates that I never knew that you can start leveraging, um, especially these here. This is one for effective meeting. There's just so much that you can do. Um, how to actually leverage this with friends and family and coworkers is clicking that button up here with the little plus sign and you can actually share links by inviting them directly to this whiteboard to collaborate with. Um, so I'm going to try that one more time. Um, and it should pop up and there you go. You have that link copied and you can send that out. If you have Office 365 for work, this view will look a little bit differently. Um, there, there will be options where you can directly add the directory of folks that you work with to these whiteboards more cleanly and simpler. Um, you can also link this whiteboard particularly to specific calendar invites if you use Microsoft Teams. So that's just another thing to think about. The last thing I'll talk about, there's a whole bunch of other settings that you can do. Um, there's an accessibility checker to ensure that you know all this is accessible. You can add alternative text. You can change the format of the background by using dots, squares, graphs, all that fun stuff here. Um, different types of color if you want to make it a little bit more interesting. I didn't show you all here too, but you can do uh, and copy and paste images directly to this whiteboard and kind of move things around. So this is a first preview and first taste on what Microsoft Whiteboard could do for you and your team, or just you in general using it with others. I hope you found this helpful. I would know it was going pretty quick, but these are just some of the features that you can start using today. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully post some more videos walking through some more tutorials later. All right, thanks.